Hey everybody, Dan and Robin here, and we have a new name for our cooking show, Healthy Cooking for the Ageless Woman. Ageless being a woman who has had at least one milestone birthday. Milestone starts at 40. Now, if they're under 30, can they watch? You can watch if you're under 30. Guess what? If I were under 30, I would want to watch because I want to stay looking young. I want to be fit. I want to be healthy well into my golden years, I would say. Yeah, like me. Okay, so Robin wants to give. I'm approaching those years. Yeah, I'm 14 years old. You'll never catch up with me, girl. Okay, she's designed another great recipe for us, and she is calling it today. Today it's called creamy pesto. I'm sorry. That's not what it's called. <laughs> it's called creamy basil chicken spaghetti squash. It could be pesto because basil is made of pesto. pesto. Yeah. We're going to have some of the ingredients. You're right. We are. But okay. we have a pesto dish, so we're not going to call it that. Anyway, lots of healthy ingredients. We want to quickly go through them and give you some of the really positive benefits. Here's one of the things you're not going to find in this. You're not going to find spaghetti. No, 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 no. White no. flour packaged spaghetti. No, no, no. We're not using it. 220 calories per cup with very little nutrients versus about 40 calories per cup with massive nutrients. Potassium. It's got fiber. See, fiber. Um, let me see. I have some other things here. Grams of carbohydrate. The spaghetti, 42 grams a cup. Spaghetti squash, about 10. Okay, are you convinced? And it's going to taste great. That's the it's other thing. It's delicious. We don't want to eat food that doesn't taste good. Okay, okay, let's talk about, here's another. We bring the star back often. Uh, this is actually chicken bone broth, so we're going to use that. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about that a lot. If you haven't watched our bone broth show, you've got to watch it because an ageless woman needs her bone broth. Mm -hmm. What well, makes it creamy? The creamy, we use uh, coconut milk, full fat coconut milk, okay? This is in place of dairy. You don't need to use cream. This is just as good. It's delicious and better for you. And don't be afraid when you read the labels, which mm -hmm. you should be reading. And you see a quarter cup is 110 calories. You don't use very much. Right. So be okay with that. We have pine nuts. And these are toasted. And then we also have, Dan and I usually make a roasted chicken at the beginning of every week. Mm -hmm. And then we use it all week long in different recipes. So this is a roasted chicken. But if you had chicken breast on hand, you could also just take some cut up chicken breast um, and cook it along with what we exactly. were going to take. And You'll see this in the recipe, but just watch your pine nuts for the roasting because if you are an ageless woman, you might have a menopause moment and leave them in too long. They only take about five minutes. Right. Okay, here we have. We're using ghee for our saute because it can cook at high temperatures without burning and it doesn't have the dairy in it. And you get the massive butter taste with very, very little. And this is grass-fed ghee, by the way. Yep. Um, we have, this is one shallot chopped up. And I like to use shallots. If you don't have shallots, you could use onion. I just like the flavor of shallots better. We are using some sun-dried tomatoes. These are packed in olive oil, and they're already pre-sliced. That's the way I like them, easy to use. And then optional, I had some mushrooms in my refrigerator that I wanted to use, so we're going to throw those in as well. But some people don't like mushrooms, so you don't have to use those. And then we're going to use some basil. I have dried, and I also have the refrigerator type. It doesn't matter either or. And same with garlic. I've got the garlic that's already... Um, pre-chopped up. You could use garlic powder if you don't have that. And then we have some red pepper flakes. And the last thing that I don't have out here that I forgot, it's actually not in my written recipe, but I like to add a little bit of pecorino, romano, uh, or parmesan cheese to the top. Awesome. So we'll meet you over at the stove. All right. Now, Dana, so what we did here was I sauteed up or actually you sauteed it while I was doing other stuff, um, the shallots and the mushrooms in about a tablespoon of that ghee, and it's all kind of browned up. And now I'm just going to add a couple tablespoons of the sun-dried tomato. And this is, I'm letting the olive oil go in with it. I just measured out two tablespoons with the oil because that oil has some good flavor in it. Okay, sorry about making all that noise. Hey, I'll be your assistant. And then I'm just going to heat this through for a few minutes and then we're going to add in our chicken. We just took about, I don't know, we figured that's about eight ounces total. This is going to make two servings. So four ounces each of roasted chicken breast and we're just going to heat that through, saute that up. Meanwhile, while that's cooking, 
I am going to show you something that I did earlier. So I cooked the spaghetti squash earlier. I did it in the microwave. By the way, you can do that even several days in advance and just throw it in your refrigerator and use it when you want. Sliced it down the center, laid it down in a microwave safe dish. I put a lid on it, but with a vent, so there was an opening, stuck it in the microwave, and I cooked this for about eight minutes. Oh, before I cooked it, I seeded it. I took all the seeds out with a spoon. You can see there's one leftover seed that I missed, actually. But, oops, what I'm going to do with a fork now that it's cooked is I'm just going to scrape out the spaghetti squash. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just scraping it out, and you want to get all of it. I'm, I'm, Okay, so now we've got the chicken is heated through. Again, we used pre-cooked chicken because our from our roasted chicken. But if you were using um, chicken breast, you would just make sure you were cooking it, browning it all the way through. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to add our chicken broth without spilling it all over. So I'm going to add the chicken broth. That's about a cup. I'm going to not add the whole thing right now. I might add a little bit more. I'm going to add the coconut milk. This is a quarter cup of coconut milk, so that's what's going to make it creamy. And I just want to mention, this is the full-fat coconut milk that we've used. And, you know, there's a lot in here. We're not going to use this whole can. You can put it in, I put it in a glass jar and refrigerate it. It's great as a cream in your coffee. It's really good. So try that. Then I'm going to add our... Uh, basil, dried basil, and red pepper flakes. I'm going to add that in there. And some salt and pepper. We just have some sea salt, Himalayan sea salt. And then some cracked pepper, black pepper, since we already added the red. I like a lot of black pepper. How about you? And then I'm going to stir that up. And... Make that kind, it's gonna start to thicken up here as it cooks off. Let me turn my heat up a little bit. Okay, and I'm actually going to now add my spaghetti squash, which I got a piece of the skin in here, I don't want that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add my spaghetti squash in there. Okay, so as it's cooking here on the stove, you can see some of that liquid is reducing down. And then it'll be ready here in just a few minutes and we'll be ready to serve very quickly. Well, thanks for joining us for lunch again. We are so hungry and ready to eat this. It smells amazing, it really does. I think this is probably the best dish that we've made so far on this show. Well, you know what's interesting is it's really a nice portion, Robin, and I think you figured out we're maybe getting a cup, cup and a half of the spaghetti squash. Right. If you're using about a cup of the spaghetti squash, I mean, this is about 450 calories, but look how much. This is food. a big serving. We are going to be full from this. I can hardly wait because I'm so hungry. And it has just a unique smell with the herbs and the, you know, the spaghetti squash. It looked, we were talking as it was cooking. It looks like angel hair as it's cooking in here. Mm -hmm. So are we ready to give it a try? Yes. I'm going to make sure I have a little piece of tomato. My mouth is actually watering. <laughs> That's how good it smells. Oh, here we go. Mm. Mm. It's so delicious. Another amazing meal. It's a little spicy. It is spicy. By the way, the red pepper is optional. Um, I've actually used more red pepper than this before, but I cut it down. I like it really spicy. But it's giving me a bit of a hot flash, but I mean, <laughs> I like spicy too. But just know, that's that's the optional part. And every once in a while, you'll find a little seed that looks like a pumpkin seed. I found one in here that I didn't get out of the spaghetti squash. And you know what? That's okay. You can eat it. Yeah, it's healthy. Well, listen, <laughs> thanks for joining us on this new episode of Healthy Cooking for the Ageless Woman. Thank <laughs> you.